Brunei is a tiny Muslim nation in Southeast Asia. But even though the nation is tiny, their love of Muhammad is big. That's why Brunei is going full Sharia. Never go full Sharia. CNN reports. A new law which comes into effect from next week will punish homosexual sex and adultery with death in the small Southeast Asian kingdom of Brunei. Beginning on April 3rd, any individuals found guilty of the offenses will be stoned to death according to a new penal code. The punishment will be witnessed by a group of Muslims. The country's strict new laws were announced in 2014 and have been rolled out gradually. The latest phase of implementation, including the brutal new provisions, was quietly announced on the Brunei Attorney General's website on December 29, 2018. Human rights groups were quick to express horror at the penal code, which will also order amputation as a punishment for theft. Human rights groups were quick to express horror at the penal code. What penal code would that be? A penal code based on the clear commands of Allah and Muhammad. Sunan ibn Majah, 2555. It was narrated from Imran bin Hussein that a woman came to the Prophet and confessed to committing fornication. This woman was married, so it was adultery. He issued orders, and her garments were tightened around her so that her private parts would not become uncovered. Then he stoned her. Then he offered the funeral prayer for her. Sunan Ibn Majah, 2561. It was narrated from Ibn Abbas that the Messenger of Allah said, Whoever you find doing the action of the people of Lut, kill the one who does it and the one to whom it is done. Lut is Lot. The action of the people of Lot refers to homosexual sex between two men. Muhammad tells his followers to kill the one who does it and the one to whom it is done. So, the giver and the receiver. Surah 5, verse 38 of the Quran. And as for the male thief and the female thief, cut off from the wrist joint their right hands as a recompense for that which they committed, a punishment by way of example from Allah. And Allah is all-powerful, all-wise. So, human rights groups are horrified at the commands of Allah and Muhammad. That's strange. Whenever I say that I'm horrified at the commands of Allah and Muhammad, People call me a racist and a bigot and an Islamophobe. Apparently, human rights groups are made up entirely of Islamophobes. Brunei must immediately halt its plans to implement these vicious punishments and revise its penal code in compliance with its human rights obligations. The international community must urgently condemn Brunei's move to put these cruel penalties into practice. Rachel Choa Howard, Brunei researcher at Amnesty International, said in a statement, There was a broad international outcry when Brunei became the first country in the region to adopt Sharia law in 2014, an Islamic legal system which outlines strict corporal punishments. Oh my goodness, CNN just called Sharia law an Islamic legal system which outlines strict corporal punishments. That is absolutely amazing, because Muslim activists have spent years trying to convince Westerners that Sharia is a benign system of personal choices for Muslims. Think about the tweets of Sharia expert Linda Sarsour. I don't drink alcohol. Don't eat pork. I follow Islamic way of living. That's all Sharia law is. That's all it is, ladies and gentlemen. Sharia law is reasonable. And once you read into the details, it makes a lot of sense. People just know the basics. People just know the basics, like chopping off hands. But it's reasonable and makes a lot of sense. You'll know when you're living under Sharia law if suddenly all your loans and credit cards become interest-free. Sounds nice, doesn't it? Yeah, where do we sign up for interest-free credit cards and amputations and stonings? Anyone who corrected Linda Sarsour and told people what Sharia law actually is was called a racist and a bigot and an Islamophobe, even though they were completely correct. But now Sharia has suddenly become an Islamic legal system which outlines strict corporal punishments. Funny how Sharia keeps changing like this. The tiny, oil-rich kingdom of just over 450,000 people is located on the island of Borneo, 
close to moderate Islamic nations of Indonesia and Malaysia. In comparison to its neighbors, Brunei has grown conservative in recent years, including banning the sale of alcohol. The new penal code was announced in May 2014 by the Sultan of Brunei, Hassan al Bolkaya, who also acts as the country's prime minister. In announcing the change, government's website quoted the Sultan saying that his government does not expect other people to accept and agree with it, but that it would suffice if they just respect the nation in the same way that it also respects them. Wow. Mantra of leftists everywhere. Who are we to judge? Who are we to pretend that our civilization is better than anyone else's? We love Islam. Islam is great. Only racists oppose Islam. Now you've got Brunei about to start stoning homosexuals and adulterers and chopping off hands. The Sultan tells us to respect it, just as politicians and the media and educators and actors have been telling us to respect Islam. How can politicians and the media and educators and actors suddenly object without proving that they are the biggest bunch of hypocrites the world has ever seen?